my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever holiday you are celebrating today. This video should be up on Christmas Day. Depending on the time zone, it might not be Christmas anymore, but you know, Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. For Christmas, I wanted to do a fear food video because you guys really enjoy fear food videos and I haven't done one in a very, very long time. So I thought I would do a video where I ate my old fear foods, but they're more like holiday edition. But I also kind of wanted to get a little bit insight from you guys So I asked you guys what you will be eating for the holidays So I asked you guys on my Instagram make sure to follow me on Instagram Please help me get to 10,000 followers on Instagram so I can do the swipe up link thing on my stories But I asked you guys on Instagram to send in all the foods you eat for the holidays And I got so many responses So I'm going to be taking a little bit of inspiration from you guys if you don't mind because your girl grew up not really having a lot of Holiday traditions. I mean for Christmas. I really just ate cookies. But yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know but of course if you absolutely hate it which i would not blame you for you can give it a thumbs down that's okay too and of course subscribe for more content for your certified damsel in distress so first things first this hat is actually a hat that my dad got for me maybe a year or two ago i think it was last year he got this for me so i thought i could wear it today what I'm going to have for breakfast is, this was actually, I think, the most popular breakfast that I got sent in. Majority of you guys eat cinnamon rolls or cinnamon buns for breakfast on Christmas, which I thought was amazing. I never got to do that. <laughs> so I've never made like homemade cinnamon buns or anything like that. So me succumbing to my nerves and my fear of messing up, I bought these. And I've actually been wanting to try these for a while, so I figured it was a win-win situation. So this is the Immaculate, that's the brand's name, Immaculate Cinnamon Rolls. And they're surprisingly vegan. I like read over the ingredients so many times just to make sure. So I'm going to be making some of these. And then while these are in the oven, I'm actually going to make myself some hot chocolate. I bought this a while ago. I wanna say almost two weeks ago, but I've been saving it for this video because I wanted to try it for the first time on here. I've never had the peppermint hot cocoa from Starbucks, but I thought I would try it for the first time with you guys. I have to spoon the cocoa into a cup, add hot milk, and then stir and enjoy. Okay, that's easy enough, I could do that. I guess I'll do the cinnamon rolls first and then I'll have the hot cocoa while they're baking. 350 for 18 to 20 minutes, got it. Press spoon at the seam until can opens. Oh! oh my God, okay, oh dear, okay. Oh my God, that was actually terrifying. <laughs> How do I make sure that it doesn't come apart? There we go, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Is this the icing? Yes, it is. Ah, okay, got it. 18 to 20 minutes, so we'll check on them in 18 minutes. Oops. I also wanted to show you guys, I got these at Whole Foods, I believe. They are decorated sugar cookies. Let's do a little cookie haul, because I have a few different cookies here that I want to show you guys. And then I'll make the hot cocoa, I promise. First, I have these sugar cookies that I said I got from Whole Foods. Can you not email me right now? They look like Christmas trees. I thought they were super cute. These kind of cookies were never really my favorite. Like sugar cookies, the only sugar cookies I ever liked were those ones, and they're really soft, and they have a print on them. You can get them literally anywhere. They're iconic, you probably know what I'm talking about. But these, I'm, I've never been a huge fan of them, but they feel so nostalgic. I showed these in my last video, but my grandma made these. She used to make these every Christmas for me and my family and ever since going vegan she's been like trying to find a vegan recipe for me which was so sweet of her so she made them and sent them over to me and they're these like sesame seed cookies they're really good with tea and stuff they're so tasty mm. they're not super sweet but they're really good mm. last cookie wonder shop at target Obviously I got these at Target. I showed these on stream, but they're holiday mini sugar cookies. They come in all different shapes. They have a snowman, a mitten, a tree. Look how cute they are. Mm. These are really good. I like these better than the Whole Foods one. Cookie haul over. I still have a chocolate chip cookie that I'll probably eat later. That's not really part of the haul. You guys already have seen that one. I got this Christmas mug specifically for this occasion. How much do I add? Maybe like that much? Beet juice. Why is there beet juice? I just thought of this really random memory. I don't know why I thought of this. I remember whenever my friend would come over, my mom would always make us like little desserts when we were just in my room. And she would always bring us like these little cute little desserts that she would make and it'd be like little mini strawberry shortcakes or moon cakes and stuff. I don't know why I just thought of that, but it was a really fond memory. I used to always get annoyed by her, which is like, why? Such a bratty child, like. 
Mmm, that's so good. Ah, oh, I don't taste much of the peppermint, but I can feel the peppermint. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't taste the peppermint, but you know that feeling you get when you have like a candy cane or peppermint gum and you get that, I kind of have that when I drink it. It's so good. All right, lads, it's time. 18 minutes have passed. Let's see. Ooh, final product here. Well, not final product. We still have to drizzle the icing on top, which looks questionable. Oh, ew, it's kind of, okay, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say anything. Ooh, that's a work of art. Ooh, I'm killing it. They give you a lot of icing. Like, I don't need all this icing. Ta-da! Ooh, so pretty. I had to take my hat off because it's getting a little hot, but I have my two cinnamon rolls here. I forgot how good cinnamon rolls were. The cops are coming because they want my cinnamon rolls. There's always something going on out there. I don't think I've ever made a video where you guys haven't heard sirens in the background. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a really good Christmas breakfast with your family or your friends, whoever you're celebrating with, you know? I really hope you did. I don't want anyone to waste any potential memories. Don't waste that, you know? Because I promised, it's hard to tell right now, there will come a time in the future where you will wish that you made that memory. It's not the best advice, I know. It's easier said than done, I know. Coming from someone that let a lot of potential memories go to waste, and I'm in the position now where I unfortunately can't make any more memories with a certain person that I wish I made a lot of memories with, take the chance. <laughs> I got a lot of questions, especially recently, about like, what should I do if the holidays are coming up? I feel really guilty about all the food that I'm going to be eating. And I know I've been there, I've been there. But all I can say is that when I was going through my eating disorder and the holidays would come up, I wouldn't eat anything. And I wasted a lot of memories I could have had with my dad, who is my best friend, and he would be, I could see that he was so sad because he just wanted me to have a good time on Christmas. And I never really could have a good time because I was too worried about like how much calories is in X, Y, and Z or whatever. And coming from someone that when I finally, when I finally decided to recover and I got to the point where I could eat on Christmas and stuff, it was too late. <laughs> And my dad was already at the point where he was so sick that he couldn't eat anything. And I realized that I can't take... I'm sorry. <laughs> I told myself I would talk about this and not cry. <laughs> I can't go back anymore and try to recreate those memories because they're gone and my dad is gone. And now that I'm finally at a point... Okay, sorry. I had to take a break for a second there. As I was saying, I can't go back and create memories because my dad isn't here anymore. So coming from someone that recovered too late and I don't want any, I don't want to discourage anyone, but realize like you never know what's going to happen in the future because the people that you can create memories with, you have no idea where they're going to be in the next year. I thought I would have a lot more time with my dad and he died out of nowhere. I mean, not out of nowhere, but I thought I had a lot more time to make up for the time that I lost, and I didn't. So coming from someone that recovered too late, please enjoy yourself. If you're going to challenge yourself any day, let it be today, and I hope you don't end up in the situation as me. That's why I'm here, you know? That's why I do what I do, because I don't want anyone to be here where I am today. <laughs> you might look at me and be like, oh, she's recovered, which I am, and you might want to be where I am. And I want everyone to recover too and be in the same place as recovery as I am, but I don't want you to be in my spot where I recovered too late. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, this cinnamon roll is really good. <laughs> Damn, I'm supposed to stream in like an hour. I already messed up my makeup. <laughs> I'm sorry for crying. I don't like crying because I can't, I feel like I can't get my message across properly. Like it comes off unclear and stuff because I try to pick words that won't like trigger my tears. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I hope some of you understood what I was trying to say. So for lunch, I'm going to be making like a cheese board. This was a go-to in my house when I was growing up. We always made like a little platter. I need a bigger plate, I just realized. <laughs> but I went a little overboard and I got like four different kinds of crackers, which I didn't need, but here we are. I got some multi-grade and flaxseed crackers, original water crackers. These are rosemary crackers. And then these are enchanted crackers. <laughs> They're just multi-grain crackers. <laughs> I have this Miyoko's garlic and herb cashew milk cheese which I thought looked very good and then I just have some veal life cheese slices that I'm 
this is so annoying that I'm going to cut into like fours. So let's do the cracker layout first. I also have some grapes. Got crackers laid out here. And then I wanna put a little cheese square. So what I've seen people do on cheese boards is that they like cut a square. And I think that would look cool. Not square, oh my God. Am I okay? A triangle, a triangle. <laughs> Perfect, ta-da. This looks so mediocre to some other people's, but like, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to enjoy as much as I can while still having room for dinner. Mmm, this was one of my favorite things. I don't know why, I loved it growing up. This is a breaded turkeyless stuffed roast with gravy. It says to thaw for 24 hours. We're not doing that because it's too late. Okay, well we're just gonna we're just gonna cook it. Oh, that's a rock. The potatoes are boiled. So we've got our butter. I'll do a hefty chunk. So the potatoes are done. And it says to mash them, and it says to use a masher. I'm using a spoon. <laughs> I don't have a masher, so we you gotta make do with what you have. I have to take these out of the oven. I have so much going on. We're mashing the potatoes. I'm freaking sweating. So if you have a family member that is mashing potatoes, thank them, because this is hard work. <laughs> We're gonna add the butter, which I don't think is enough butter. We'll add more butter. Oh, lots of more butter. We're gonna add another stick. Too much butter. Too much butter. Too much, too much. <laughs> too much butter. Salt, lots of garlic powder, lots of pepper. Add some chive cream cheese. Mmm. Mm, mm-hmm. Oh, I got, I got mashed potatoes on my chin. <laughs> okay, the final reveal. I hope it's cooked, I hope it's cooked. Oof. I feel like this isn't the right knife to use. I'm just seeing if the middle is good. Mm! I'm so happy with how it turned out. Oh, thank God. I was so nervous that this would not work out because I didn't realize I had to thaw this, but it all worked out and it came with some gravy. So I'm just gonna drizzle a good amount of that on everything. So here's the finished product. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this. I took a little mini bite of the roast beforehand just to make sure that the inside was cooked because that was my biggest dilemma, but I didn't get to like fully taste it. So I figured this is still considered like a taste test. By the way, when I was waiting for this to cook, I I ate like almost all of the mashed potatoes, so that happens. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. I wouldn't say it tastes like turkey. I actually like it better than turkey. <laughs> this is good, the stuffing on the inside, really tasty. And of course these mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are so good. I did so well. <laughs> I think my dad would have been impressed. My mom would have been impressed, that's for sure. Mmm. <laughs> I am full. That was so filling and so freaking delicious. I wanted to try something different. So again, I told you guys early in this video that I asked you guys to send in some things that you guys would eat. I thought it was really cool how so many of you guys are all over the freaking world and you sent in all different kinds of things and cakes that I cannot pronounce. And I was able to find this at Trader Joe's. So I was told it's pronounced Stolen. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but I think it's stolen. My stream helped me pronounce that. And a lot of people sent this in. A lot of you also mentioned that you weren't a fan of this, which is concerning, but we're gonna try it anyway. And then I also have just my last cookie here because this is what I had on Christmas. We've got my twist and your guys' twist. <laughs> Let's just do a little piece first. So this is what the inside looks like. Kinda looks like a fruitcake type of thing. I don't know how I feel about all this powdered sugar. It's not bad. It's not bad. It tastes more like uh, like cinnamon raisin bread in a way. However, I'm definitely going to prefer, personally, this chocolate chip cookie much, much more. This, this is where it's at. <laughs> this is probably the last thing that I'm going to be having for today's video. Hmm, which means that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, you can give it a thumbs down, that's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on this channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much and happy holidays and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.